Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been quite some time since I've done an unboxing video, so apologies if I'm a little bit rusty. I also don't have a sexy influencer area with one of those little like circular plinths where the product like spins around and it looks amazing and you can pump in like a smoke machine. I don't have all that stuff. So this is pretty basic. I just have some some Pokemon and a Quest 3 sitting here. So ho hopefully that will suffice. Now the reason I'm doing this video today is because I personally am a big fan of Bobo VR and more specifically their Quest line of head straps. I've been using these since the Quest 2. Since I got my M2 Pro, I believe it was on the Quest 2, it never came off my Quest 2. I absolutely loved that head strap. And currently on Quest 3, I am using the M3 Pro. So this is my current head strap. You'll see it in every video that I have on the channel. I'm always using this. I am a big fan of the design that Bobo go with. Now, you do have to like the halo strap design, which shifts a lot of the weight to this kind of front pad, which is a really nice kind of squishy plush pleather. It's not a real leather, I don't believe, but it is a nice squishy material. And I genuinely think this is the most comfortable Quest 3 head strap on the market currently. And it also has a hot swappable battery. So I've got a few of these. I can just bring a new one in, swap the old one out, and when you clip it on, it makes a nice ding noise. Woohoo! I love the ding noise. The ding noise is probably my favorite part of this whole thing. Now you might be thinking this sounds like the perfect Quest 3 head strap, but some consumers have had issues, mainly with the battery component of this strap. Some people have said that the batteries run down really quickly, others say they take absolutely ages to charge, and others, myself included, can hear a buzzing noise when the battery is attached and charging the device. So sometimes when I'm playing games, I can hear this buzzing, and it is quite loud, it is a little bit distracting distracting, especially in quiet parts of games. If you're a horror fan like me and you're going through a particularly quiet section and you can hear that buzz, it's, it's a little bit, uh, it breaks the immersion for me. So Bobo have come along with a new and hopefully improved S3 Pro head strap. They've got rid of the M, it's an S now, uh, and this one actually has a, like a battery percentage Thing on it. You can see what percentage the battery's at. You've got a little monitor on the side which tells you how charged it is. It also has increased airflow apparently. If I have a look at the side here, there's a few little things to call out. So it has active ventilation, not sure what that means, swap battery system which we already had on the M3, uh, a multi-node adjustable, no idea what that means. That just sounds like lingo, just jargon. And gravity balance design. So again, it's distributing the weight properly. Keen to get into this, really excited to see how this stacks up against the M3 Pro. Um, so I'm going to crack it open now, do a little unboxing, and then stick it on my head and play a game and just tell you how comfortable it is, I guess, and tell you if I think just out of the box if it's better. going to be hard to tell if it's better straight away, but I'll give you some honest feedback. I have scissors. Don't use scissors if you're a child. Um, yet get your dad to do it, or your, your mum, or your nan, or your aunt, or your uncle, or your brother or just like a friendly neighbor, but make sure you know them, not a stranger, don't talk to strangers. Okay, so inside the box, we have a nice little bit at the top here, which kind of tells us, fold it, fold it, tells us about all the components inside, which is really nice. So we've got charging cable, front vent, oh, it's got fans. Okay, hopefully these fans aren't loud. I had a little fan device in my Quest 2 and it was quite loud. Uh, a front ventilation fan, a connect fixed arm, a display screen, ventilation speed adjustment wheel. Okay, you can change the speed of ventilation, that's cool. Pivot adjustment node, a battery pack, a PU pad. It's got loads of stuff in here. Absolutely loads of stuff in here. Let's 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 crack it open and see what it looks like. So it comes with some nice like bobo cooking paper. It's nice. I might bake some cookies later. Use that. Put it on a tray. Very lovely. We'll leave that there. Makes the video even more aesthetically pleasing. Now, I don't know if I have to build this uh, or put it all together. It doesn't look like I do. The straps there. Let's move that out for just a second. What else have we got? Oh, honeycomb. Not the kind that you can eat, sadly. Not, I'm not really a big fan of honeycomb, though, to be honest. This is a replacement. So if you prefer this kind of texture on the part that grips your head, you can swap it out so the back can be this kind of honeycomb. I think this is for the back, the strap that rests against the back of your head. This is good if you're bold, like me. It's really grippy. Grips to the back of your head. Um, we'll pop that over there. Then we have a little box here. I think in this box we're going to have the battery and the charge cable. Yeah, charge cable. Very exciting. We have a small booklet 
Ooh, booklet. We like booklets. And uh, I think a battery, if I can get it out. There we go. I had to wrestle to get it out, but there's the battery. It actually looks a little bit different to the one... Oh, it is different to the one I have on the M3. Let me just grab that. Okay, so this is the current design. This one here is the current design. And this is the new design. So on the old ones, you can click this button and check what kind of battery percentage they have. Um, so that one's a full battery. This doesn't have that anymore. I guess because the headset now has a readout right on it. It's got like a little monitor on there to tell you. That's, that's pretty cool. I do like being able to check with the with the battery itself. I like that as a feature. But that's that's gone now. Gone are those days. Times have changed. Okay, so this is everything you get inside the box. You get the head strap itself. You get one of these new batteries. It is a much heavier battery, I must say. I don't know if the capacity is higher than that of the one that came with the M3, but this is a heavier battery. It immediately feels much heavier. A little booklet about the battery, a charge cable, and a piece of honeycomb fabric for the back if you prefer a bit more grip on the back of your headset. Let's have a little look at the uh, head strap itself. Let's move everything away and just, just have, a little, have a little gander at it. Let's have a look at this thing. Now, it does look very similar to the M3 strap, but this back plate feels like it comes over more. It looks like it comes over much more, actually, than the M3 did. The M3 kind of stopped maybe kind of here. This is coming over much more, so that should give more support to the back of your head, hopefully. Um, the battery component uh, or kind of dock looks a lot more sturdy as well. And these arms on the side obviously are different. This one has a little kind of monitor on it to tell you how much battery power you've got left. If I put it in now, will it will it tell me? Will it will it tell me? Oh, it does. Look at that. 17%. Well, that's not great. It just came. It's brand new. Uh, okay, so 17% is what it said on there. Um, and then you can spin this. Okay, I guess we need to get this plugged into a quest to get the full the full effect and uh, figure out how it works. But yeah, I, I like it immediately. I like it. It's very similar to the M3. I'm curious to know how loud this fan's going to be. Um, I'm not a big fan of like the fan components on headsets. As I say, I used to have one for my Quest 2. Uh, I didn't really love it. I didn't use it a huge amount. It was quite loud, but I do trust Bobo. I do trust them. I'm going to get this switched over. I'm going to put my Quest 3 into this and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see the little screen working properly. And here it is. This is the Bobo S3 Pro head strap attached to my Quest 3, complete with the little battery monitor on the side. Now, I just popped this onto my head just to give it a very quick feel and it feels very comfortable, very comfortable, very sturdy. I'd probably say it's a bit more comfortable and a bit more sturdy than the M3 Pro. And I think that's to do with this back bit. I did say this back part, the back support looks far more robust than the M3 Pro. And I could feel that immediately when I put this on. Now this is the part where you can swap out to the honeycomb. I haven't done that. I've left it as this kind of squishy, pleathery uh, material. And honestly, it's very, very comfortable. Now I think the big thing about this, the big difference is obviously the fan and the monitor on the side to tell you what your battery percentage is. Now that battery readout isn't a readout of the Quest's overall battery. My Quest is currently on 100%. So that readout there is just telling me how much battery power the battery on the back has. So it's telling you if you need to charge this. That is how you now find out that these batteries are dead or not. Obviously before, as I say, you could just kind of touch the button on them and it would light up. So that one's basically dead, it would tell you. Now, you need to have the battery plugged into your Quest or into your S3 Pro head strap to find out how much battery it has. Now, the most interesting component, I think, other than the monitor, is the fan. Now, you activate the fan by clicking this in. There we go. Now, it starts at 50%. Now, I can't really hear that. It is going. It's a very low-level hum. But you can pump it up to 100%. And you should probably be able to hear it at that point. Okay. It's 100% now. Now, I think that's pretty extreme. I don't know why you would need to use it, but I can feel the airflow. I can feel the air here hitting my hand. It's, it's a cool design. I do think there is room for fans and fan attachments in uh, for Quest headsets, for, for standalone headsets in general, for VR headsets, because you do get sweaty and it does fog up. But I haven't had that issue for a while, I must admit. So I don't know how much I'm going to use that fan. Here it is going. 100%. You can adjust it with this little wheel on the side, which again, I think is really cool. Nice little digital readout on it. 
you drop it right down to a, say like one percent speed so if you just need a little bit of airflow if you're playing like a workout game and you're getting a bit sweaty I, it's a nice feature i don't know how much i'm going to use it if i'm perfectly honest with you when you're done using the fan you just click that button in and it turns off the fan's now stationary again and it's back to just being a head strap with no fan attachment but it will always have the battery indicator on the side immediate impression is it's very nice it's a much more robust feeling bobo head strap all of the components feel really solid these arms on the side the front bit really solid but particularly this back support it's a very nice really well engineered head strap for the quest 3 I think this is probably going to end up being my daily driver now. As I say, I just popped it on. It was very comfortable. I'll hop into a game and uh, just do a quick test of the comfort level. But it does feel very, very nice. Okay, here I am inside In Death Unchained to test the S3 Pro head strap. Just going to be a quick test. Just going to give you some initial thoughts. Now, straight out of the gate, this is a very comfortable head strap this feels more comfortable than the m3 pro bobo's last effort and i think it's mainly due to the back support being much more robust the entire back of my head feels like it's really well supported and really well cushioned the whole thing feels light it feels like the weight distribution of the quest and this head strap is now pretty much perfect it isn't jiggling around on my face much it feels solid Build quality is, is really nice. It feels really sturdy. But yeah, I've tightened it up to a comfortable degree. And yeah, it, it feels solid, rock solid. The build quality of Bobo head straps is always exceptionally high. The one thing I'm really not sure about, though, is the fan. Let me turn the fan on. Okay, fan is now on. Now, it's currently at about 40%, and it's very loud. I can hear a buzz that is much louder than the slight buzz I heard from the battery pack on the M3 Pro, which was a complaint for some people. This fan is much, much louder than the battery pack ever was on the previous device. I don't know who the fan is necessarily for perhaps if you were playing fitness games and that was your whole bag you know you were getting really hot really sweaty this would be a great feature but even on about 40 percent that's very loud if i pump it up to 100 percent, oh my god you won't be able to hear that on this recording i don't think but that is loud i wonder if i put my microphone to it you'll get kind of a sense of what i can i can hear okay so if i move the microphone it's at the front here I, I don't I don't think that's gonna do it justice mainly because I'm, I'm in here with you know headphones on I'm I'm boxed in you know I'm completely I'm inside this so all I can hear is the vibration like reverberating through everything it sounds like a car engine like a a, a low kind of buzz a consistent buzz I can feel a little breeze on my head I don't think the little breeze is worth oh my word i'm terrible is worth the noise that i'm hearing that noise is is louder than anything in the game right now and this is a quiet game and i think that's probably why i picked it because it's a good test for this kind of thing because there isn't a lot going on it's like a horror game that i would play you know oh bugger oh bugger oh bugger oh bugger oh bugger jeebus um yeah i'm hearing that buzz over everything over the sounds of the arrows being fired over the sounds of the enemies absolutely everything is drowned out by the buzz I, I a fan is a nice idea you know but i don't think the problem is big enough to warrant the inclusion of a fan or the use of a fan certainly not for me i mean i can't talk for everybody some people might get really sweaty inside these things and might get fogged up uh oh i hate this guys i hate him i hate him um other people might get really fogged up um but i personally don't um, it's never been a massive issue for me. Again, maybe if I was playing more fitness games and using this thing constantly as a fitness device, it might be warranted, but but no. Not for me. Right, I'm going to turn that fan off. It's very, very annoying. Right, so in conclusion, the comfort of this thing is fantastic. The build quality is fantastic. Weight distribution is fantastic. It feels like a very premium product. Um, I wouldn't expect any less because Bobo, it's not cheap. You know, they aren't the cheapest of the head straps when it comes to Quest devices and standalone VR devices. They are expensive, but you are getting a very premium feeling product here. Um, the things I don't really understand are the fan. 
Not a fan of the fan. I won't be using that. <laughs> not a fan of the fan. It's very noisy, um, and I don't think, for me at least, I get kind of sweaty enough using the headset to warrant its inclusion. And the battery indicator. It's it's nice. It's novel. But I, I don't know if it's I don't know if it makes the most sense because you're going to be charging the battery using a charge cable somewhere. And then to find out if the battery is charged, you have to plug it into your quest. So it's just an extra step that's not necessarily needed. Before, I knew if the battery was charged because there was an indicator on the battery. So I would take it off charge when that indicator was full. But now I have to move the battery to my quest to find out if it has, if it has made it to 100% charge. So they've added a step in the battery charging process, which is a little bit strange. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you soon for another one. I'll put any details about price and release date down in the description. I don't have them right now, um, but I will let you know any information that I have regarding the S3 Pro headstrap. All right, take care, everyone. I'll see you soon for another one. Goodbye.